Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. Now, on the last episode, uh, we learned we learned a lot about basically what it's like being a witcher. Uh, fighting fighting some monsters. We also learned uh, that we have the silver sword for fighting monsters. We also have the steel sword. We also have light magic abilities and how to use those, called signs. They're not like real spells like sorcerers use, but they're pretty damn good. They're pretty effective. They're pretty awesome. Uh, but basically, we are on a path hunting down uh, the woman that we love, Yennefer of Vengerberg. Uh, she, we were supposed to meet her at a town, and that town got burned down. And now we have no leads. Except to go to the Nilf Guardians and ask them if they've seen her. Now there's tensions because Nilfgaard just basically recently took over the area due to the war. So everyone's pretty tense and everyone's pretty uh button heads. So we've had some we've had some run-ins. But anyway, we also uh there's a girl named Siri who is kind of like a daughter to us. And there's word of her being back, but it's it's mostly like in our own dreams that we believe something's going on. Because he had a dream before and that happened. So there's there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of subtleties going around. That's pretty it's pretty interesting how this is gonna play out. But now, we have to go to Nilfgaard. Specifically, we have to go talk to the Nilf Guardians, not Nilfgaard itself. We have to go to the Nilf Guardians and ask them about Yennefer. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We got some side quests from uh, from a, one of the the boards posted in the town there, and we're gonna we're gonna do those. We're gonna talk to the Nilf Guardians first. And then we'll probably we'll probably spin back and do some of those because they seem pretty interesting. Ooh, there's a side quest down here. We're just gonna we're just gonna stack up a couple of them, I guess. What's going on here? Hello, go Rivia, Witcher. Lost your key, man? No, not me key, me pan. It's always sat there empty. This hurt. That is, till the night of all the battle, a man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Was standing at my window, peering at the goings on. He must have been, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. Oh God. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran? Got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, <laughs> says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. And he sees me listening, just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Oh, God. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, drying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. All this over a pan. That's uh, truly a fascinating tale. Interesting. Then what happened? Uh. Ah, let's not be so snarky yet. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on. Only the first fella left, locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose, but I've no other. Will you help me, dearie, bring an old widow or a pan? I could never break down that door myself, and in truth, I'm a feared to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Oh. 
Don't have time for this. Uh, fine, I'll help you. Yes, Carol Rivia, Witcher. Uh, hunter of monsters and finder of cookware. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. So there's a smell coming out. Hmm. That seems concerning. Like he died in there. Whoa. Okay. Wrong button. These modules can be destroyed. Such objects are marked with the hard icon. Otherwise, we can use grape shot. Whatever grape shot is. Maybe that's like a bomb? Okay. So, oh. See, that's cool. That's... It's not, it's not much, but it's cool. Oh, we can loot her. We're not going to loot her the house. That's explains the stench. Let's go. Oh, damn. So he's in here. He died. Okay, can we examine him? His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. Damn. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink, write letters. Hmm, what? Okay, that's a... But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. That's... Strange, writing letters. And then he's dead. What is going on? I don't want to steal Here, from her. Your frying pan. Mine? The mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years have <laughs> passed. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off and made ink out of it. And. And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Oh, that was nice. Wow. That's so wholesome. Right oh, we got food and stuff. We did it. We got her fry. That's our first real contract. God, we're so good. We're so good. Man of the people. Run, Roach. It's interesting, he's writing letters. Obviously, if Nilfgaard hears about it, they'll probably cause a lot of issues. Um, but... Damn, so the one guy... killed the other? That's kind of fucked. It's messed up. Ugh. Jeez. That's okay. So now we're gonna go find out uh, what's going on with Yennefer. Hopefully. Whoa! Alright, so... This is... This seems to be like one of their... It's like a fortress. It's true. Interesting. What's going on? Oh. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a witcher. Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Let's see, you can be nice. Got work for me? Ah, uh, we don't want to... We're, we're in there, please. We don't want to piss him off. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. All right. Is 
Epstreda, Arsandir Karda, Es Diserim, Nord Estulf Haiden, En Mera. Is that, that, that is the other event that's happening, is there was a griffin that attacked around the village earlier. It's been causing a lot of trouble, and griffins don't usually come out that far. We're not sure what's happening. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. Well, surprisingly uh, reasonable. the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him too? Can't argue with your can't argue with your logic. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? <laughs> there is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, why do you care about a griffin? Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already. Including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle. No, too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional interesting okay so it kind of works out for everybody then we get to know where Yennefer is and they get rid of the griffin it's a deal some questions before I start know where the griffin has its lair it kept to the vulpine woods at first I sent a patrol there five young men a hunter found them two days on they only recognized them because they wore our plate. Oh, shit. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Interesting. Okay. Okay, so this is like our first, like, real real monster hunt. This is awesome. Let's see. Let's use some more information about the griffin. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Ms. Love. Ms. Love. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. Damn. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Okay, so Tomira and Mislav. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun yaktan. Okay. 
honestly, very surprising to have somebody be so cooperative. That is nice. That is nice to see. Oh. Enhancing weapons using special grindstones with that icon to temporarily enhance your weapons. Oh, grant a bonus to the damage dealt. Ooh. Is it free? Oh shit, that's awesome. That's so cool. Hell yeah. What is... Craftsman can craft a variety of items for you. Blacksmiths forge weapons. Armor can make armor. Oh, so they're different. So, our, okay. That's this guy. Oh, pick up some. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Uh, maybe. Let me see what you got. Show me what you're battling. Are you familiar with Gwent? Doesn't seem like he is. Um, I don't know. I don't want to spend money on like these crafting things until like we know like what we need and what would be good to have. I don't want to just go throwing money around. What is this? Uh, item durability. I uh, guess we could use this. We don't really have any money though. Damn. Okay. So, long. so hopefully we get some we money from this Griffin to... thing, Quite as well as information. Because we are... God, we are broke. We are broke. Damn. Spent all my... Spent all my money buying those potatoes. Fast travel. Once discovered, signposts allow you to travel directly from one location to another. Walk up to a signpost and press A to fast travel. Okay. Damn. All these... Wow, that's big. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty big. Holy hell. I guess these question marks are like secrets, undiscovered locations, yeah. Okay, so we're here. And we have to get to this. And this, that's so far. Okay. We got some griffin to hunt. Or information to find out. Oh, okay, this is a hut. Nice. Anyone Hello? home? Must be out hunting. Ooh, interesting. Up to you to Richardson's. Ooh, shit. Okay. Trails fresh. His love just left home. Damn, Witcher senses are fucking rad. Holy shit, that's awesome. Wow, we really just can, like, follow footsteps. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Oh, there he is. What's up, Ms. Love? You, Ms. Love? Shh! Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. More dangerous than wolves? Come on. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. <laughs> wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Oh. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? Damn, that's deep. Where'd you find the Nilf Guardian's bodies? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You were Witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. That's us. I'll show you, sure. But uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? 
that is. If you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Yeah, you know I get Sure, help. Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs have been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So we stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scaby. Too late. Attacked another one. Oh shit. Damn. Holy shit, you're big. Oh my god. Shit. Alright, dogs. Oh yeah, they look fucked up. So maybe this is good for everybody. Even them. Dog tallow. And some raw meat. I don't know how good that would be. Dieter. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before. Well, a long time ago. Damn, that sucks. Uh, where'd you find them? Before what? Ah, uh, we need the information. I'm sure he'll give it to us. But maybe we can help him out emotionally. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. Oh, what did shit. You do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Don't worry. Hey, I'm a freak too. I'm a freak too. I, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... <laughs> the Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Oh. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. So not like anthropy. Got it. Oof. Damn, that fucking sucks. Holy shit. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. I do like how Griffin, quick he was to offer about uh, like anthropy though. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. As long as a professional. As the Lord's hunter, after all. But. Damn. That sucks that he got kicked out of the village. So sad. But. Ah. Uh, Oh. Twas here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other oh. hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Ugh. Watch out for yourself now. Nothing to mourn, they were no guardians. Damn, that's fucked. Ah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Oh, cool. Thanks, Ms. Love. That was super helpful. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Bottle. Oh, God. Grounds black. Saturated with blood. Saturated. A camp. 
Actually, what else? What else can we spawn? It's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Oh shit! Footprints. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Interesting. Oh. Oh, fast travel post. Okay, cool. Oh shit, the bridge fell out. Oh, there's some chests. Yo, can we get stuff? Bread, money. And some linen. Okay. Okay. Sorry, brief detour. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's some distance. So up here again? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Flower. Wolf's Bane. Oh, it's on the other side there. Huh. Oh, that's a beehive. Oh, hold on. Nest. What remains of it at least. Wait, what? Corpse is a couple oh, of shit. weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Oh, that's so fucked up. Oh shit, that's a griffin. But it's dead? What? Who killed it? Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Oh, oh, they were a pair. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Oh, that's sad. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Damn. Fates for left. Dense barbs. Royal Griffin. This is cool. This is awesome. Like, Explains not, not... why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted Hold the on. elf guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Oh, we're level two. Hell yeah. Uh, gain an ability point. Oh shit. So, it's it's awesome. Like his his seeing like. The, the knowledge of being a witcher, you know, like learning about the, the monsters and like the traits and like reading into all the little things. I think that's fascinating. That's so cool. It is really sad that that's what happened to this uh, griffin, though. It was really sad. Damn, snuck up on her. Uh, ability points. Available, um, so ability groups, color indicates what branch it belongs to, and then select an ability below that. Okay. So we got combat signs, alchemy, general, and then mutagens. Guess we don't know what those are yet, but combat. So fast attack damage increased by 5%. Strong attack damage by 5%. Deflect arrows when parrying. That's going to be interesting. Time slowed by an additional 15% while aiming the crossbow. We get a crossbow? At some point? Hell yeah. And resolve a adrenaline point loss upon taking damage is lowered. What we got here though? Far reaching ard. Increases the distance. Uh, damage dealt by Igni. Also, permanently weakens enemy armor. Ooh. Hell yeah. Delusion. Target does not move towards Geralt while he is casting Axie. Also increases the effectiveness of Axie in dialogues. Oh, this is what it was talking about. So if we uh, keep bumping up the Axie trait, we, our, our dialogue Axie options will actually be stronger. Oh, actually, that's actually pretty tempting. 
Mm, kind of like upping the signs. Alchemy? We haven't really done anything with alchemy yet, so I don't want to mess with those. For now, we're just going to increase our vitality. More health gives us a better chance to not be killed. And we're going to start there. Preparing for combat. Never underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the Witcher's Code and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many a Witcher's life. It is likewise worth your time. Worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, and visit craftsmen while before engaging in battle. Um, let's see. If you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character better better you a better chance giving you a better chance of winning the fight oh my god oh shit hey Velen longsword split bolts his imperial majesty emir von amaris so we got a book we also got a sword Okay, so these are all the all the tabs. Oh my god. Okay. Uh compare. Ooh, it is better. Hell yeah, we got a better sword. Bitchin'. Oh, and these are our foods. Okay. Quest items. And our crafting items. Okay. Cool, that's easy. Is there anything else around here? Take some crowns off of these guys. That's unfortunate. Oh. White myrtle petals. Okay. Well, nice. Now we now we kind of see that it is a male griffin. Magic. Oh, a place of power. What? The hell is this? Gained one ability point. What the fuck? Really? And the Quen sign intensity is increased. So our Quen is better. For a little while at least that's interesting so we have an ability point oh that's cool so oh we got to find a lot of those then uh i kind of want this one to help us with the dialogue kind of that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do it. we're gonna prepare for the future a little bit by giving us a little bit of an edge in case things get crazy. Now we have to talk to the herbalist about getting some buckthorn. Bad uh, time. Not at oh. all. Hand me the beggar tickets. The red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which huh. is all I can hope to do for her. She's helping somebody. Damn. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Ah. Kids. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Shit. I'll kill a griffin, no more victims after that. I mean, yes, but... Wait, we could try to help her. Could try to help her. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Oh. Is that an option we have? We could give her that? 
Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. <coughs> Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. The whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar something something. Ah, oh, <coughs> good to know the black one's looking out for our welfare. Mm. Elfguard values order. Peter Captain Peter actually does. It does seem like he actually does care. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you. But this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe oh. we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Oh, look at them. <laughs> that is fascinating. Okay, so we... Uh... Is that, is that an optional quest that we could do? Brew a dose of swallow potion. Oh shit, we could. We could try to actually save her. How do we do that? Brew a dose of swallow potion. Alchemy. Okay. Uh, potions. Swallow. We need a drowner brain, five celadine, and a dwarven spirit. Okay. Does she have any of that here? Uh, nope. Just some rib leaf. Uh... More rib leaf, lots of rib leaf. Some wolfsbane, more molly arrows. Is that more wolfsbane? Or. Hellebore panels. Damn, she got so many herbs around here. I don't even know what these are for. Just picking her entire garden out. Ball. Okay. Oh, wait. Celadine. There's Celadine around here. Okay. Oh, is that. Or is that Blowball? It's Blowball. Okay. So the bigger bushes, the bigger yellow bushes, are Celadine. do we need? Okay, we need two more of those. Okay. One more Celadine. Oh, what is this? Interesting. Okay, so we got Celadine. Oh. Okay. Uh, now we need a Drowner Brain. Which, Drowner probably over by the water. But we have to go by the water anyway. Because we have to get that, uh, that herb, Buckthorn. The Dwarven Spirit, hopefully we can just buy that. But, um, until then, let's... Do... Oh my gosh, where is it? Uh, main quest, that's right. Beast of White Orchard. Okay. Let's go over there. Hopefully, maybe we come across a drowner or whatever. Like a water creature? Pretty intense name. Okay. 
Oh, we have to actually go into the water. Oh, that's... Ooh. Hold X to dive or B to swim towards the surface. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Ooh. So we have a breath meter. Oh, we got some. Nice. Is there anything else down here we could use? No, nope, doesn't seem like it. And no drowners. That's unfortunate. I could. Should talk to Vizimir. Sweet, so we got the book. Okay, so we're ready to... We're ready to bring out the griffin. Oh, shit. Maybe, maybe we'll come across some... Maybe we'll have to come across some more organically, I guess. You know. Maybe we'll have to fight drowners at some point on our way towards the griffin or afterwards or something. Man, whose field is that the other side of the river? By the wood. Boy in Climix. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he... Yes, yes. This boy will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. What's your plan, Vesemir? Yes. What is it, Wolf? Oh, I've accepted a contract for the Griffin. Been on the path for a year now. Interesting. Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well Oops. not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Damn. Witchers live a long time. Holy shit. Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Um, you know what? Surprisingly, pretty good. Got some information Found and... some things. It's a male. Had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Yeah, so they went up there, and they they trashed the place trying to get it to go off on its own, like leave, and it only pissed it off more. Great. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, <laughs> manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? Oh my god. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. Ooh. Let's go get us a griffin. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Prepare to fight the griffin by brewing the thunderbolt potion. Uh, thunderbolt. So we need a Dwarven Spirit, Cornetonarius, and Andrega Embryo. Ooh. What the fuck? Alright. Cool, so we brewed that, so we're ready. Hell yeah. So we gotta get a Dwarven Spirit and a Drowner Brain still. Oh, okay, we're gonna go over here. Got it. Doing tutorial stuff still. Okay, cool, so we can actually just use the potion 
Well, does she sell dwarven spirit? Something else you'll be needing. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. You do. But I'm poor. No. Ah. Oh. It's money, but it's not like real not useful money. Damn it. Hmm. How much? Ah, oh, it's nothing. How much is one of these? Forty-seven. Okay. How about how about I sell you one of these? Great. Perfect. Farewell. I was literally like one away. All we need now to save that girl is the drowner brain. We're trying to keep keep track of that while we're doing the the whole Griffin thing, because I do want to. I. Uh, it could go horrible, but it also could work. And, you know, it does suck. She's gonna die anyway. But if there's a chance she doesn't, isn't that good? A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's do it. Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Well, that's why he now, we have to do is checking is for the field. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. Is that a is that a fake lamb? So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No, I'll go to Cam Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes, and that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Oh, it's such a weird thing. Oh shit. Here we go. Hear that? It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Oh boy. Wait. <laughs> Wait this. Take one. Oh shit, we got a crossbow. A crossbow? Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. In a card game? Gwent? To keep for traditionalist gambling. Well, well. <laughs> That'll be fun. How about Just that? Tease him a little. Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. <laughs> Here we go. Oh shit. Okay. Watch out. Oh god, we're already here. Okay. Ah. Uh. The crossbow. It's about to die! Okay. Oh. I was, I was doing it wrong. Okay. And then. The right. Oh shit. Got him. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Damn. Damn. It's fast. Yeah, this thing is intense. Come on. Shit. Wait for it. Got it. Yeah, not too smart to come right at me. Oh. Don't let it get away. Is it trying to get away? 
shit, it is. It's running. It's running. Oh my god. Oh, it's fast. Oh, obviously it's flying. It's fast. With your senses, you not only hear... You not only see more, but you hear more as well. Well, heighten your sen senses and determine... Oh, we can hear it pulsing. The sound. That's cool. So even if we can't see it, we can hear it. Hell yeah. Okay, but we had... We have this thunderbolt potion. Okay, so I hold it to switch it. Tap it to use it. Okay. So, got the thunderbolt potion. Alright, come at me. Now... We've got, we, we're juiced up. Oh, shit. You guys stand a chance. Damn. Good boy. A little bit of that. A little bit of cooked griffin. Shit, we killed it. That's badass. Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. Yes, thank you. Live and learn. Like what? Live and learn. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the griffin's head to the black ones. I'll ready our horses. Oh, Meet shit. me at the inn. Damn, so we're gonna just, like, hack this thing's head off. Monster brain, griffin feathers, griffin mutagen, and a griffin trophy. You found a mutagen, use it to enhance your abilities or to create a special potion, potion called a mutagen decoction. Interesting, a decoction. Oh shit. Damn, so we... Holy shit, we did. We literally cut its fucking head off. Oh my god, <laughs> holy shit. Okay, that's that's badass. That's hardcore. Shit. I guess that griffin ain't gonna be bothering anybody anytime soon. We got some feathers. This was the mutagen. Enhance abilities. Like these abilities? Place mutagens in the appropriate slots to gain a bonus. Oh. What? Choose a mutagen and then place it. It gives us 50 vitality. Oh shit, so that's how that is. Okay, and by coordinating the color of the mutagen with certain abilities. Oh, I have to put, I have to actually put these on there? Oh. Interesting. So they don't, they don't work unless they're on here. So I actually have to pick and choose abilities. On these unlock at higher levels. Okay, I see where I see where we're at. Such All right, so now let's go turn in our Griffin head for proof that we at least killed it, and then oh, he brought it. What he... the hell is this? Right. You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. Holy oh, shit. No, no, by the gods, no! Oh my god, that's so fucked up. Holy shit. What? Okay. Yeah, right? No more Captain Nice Guy. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be <laughs> in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Damn. Wow, this guy, okay, this guy's actually kind of a dick. That's unfortunate. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. 
Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. <sighs> Damn. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Ooh. Time constraint on some dialogue demand you make a quick decision, choose your reply before time runs out. Fuck. Oh god. But they luckily this one's easy. Take the coin or turn it down. Uh we're gonna take it because fuck you. We did the work. And you know, we'll take your money. Just feel bad for that dude. Shit. What a dick. And now we have to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. Shit. So. That's, uh. Ooh, quests. Okay. So now we know she's in Vizima, which is actually not that far away. So that's where we're gonna go. But we might actually do some of these side quests before then. Like, this one definitely kind of want to do. This is, like, maybe we could save her. Be pretty good. But until then, that's all it is for this episode. Just thank you everybody so much for watching. Stick around for more Witcher. Because it's coming. It's coming. We're, we're only just starting. We just killed a griffin. Hell yeah. It's badass. And we're so close to finding Yennefer. Like, literally, she's a day's ride away. She's literally the next town over, practically. So, we're gonna see what that's that how that goes. Um, yeah. So this is this is great. I hope you guys are enjoying The Witcher so far, because I this is badass. This is hell awesome. So again, thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit a like on the video if you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this so far, about the Nilf Guardians and this dude's clear double face act. And everything. Ugh. Oh, God. And, uh, yeah. Shit. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.